Chill, babe. Uh, Bones, um, right over here, to your right. Huh. Have you ever had three or four players jump at you in a corner at one time to stop you from scoring? <laughs> uh, yeah, high school. Um, yeah, high school for sure. College a little bit too, though. But when I seen all three, I'm like, oh, <laughs> they definitely not child at hit forty. <laughs> um, can you describe the game that you had? You had 37 and nine. Um, what did you see? What allowed you to get off? It's playing free, man. It's playing my game. Um, going out there and just, you know, trying to win the game. Um, my teammates just told me just go out there and just be busy. And you know, that's just what I do. Go out there, play freely, and I feel like that's, you know, I did a good job today on that. Bones, uh, how much fun were you having out there? Because there were a lot of moments where it looked like everybody was just excited. I mean, yeah. you can see the whole PG hard and everybody standing up for your final shots at the buzzer. So how much fun were you having? Today? Man, a lot of fun. Just to see those guys just support me. Um, <clears throat> man, it's just a, it's just a you know surreal moment for me. Guys, that's you know Hall of Famers. You know they see me on the court. You know making you know shots at the end of the, uh, end of the quarter to go into the half. <clears throat> just to see their support for me, it's just big for me. Uh, <clears throat> I really appreciate that. Well, you got off to a great start just on your own, but then I feel like when X came in, y'all were down 15, and y'all cut that whole lead. Obviously, you ended the half the way that you did. Like, how how did X kind of help uh, change how you played a little bit? Um, at all? Just, you know, his energy and uh, his speed, you know, his playmaking as well, too. And uh, he's just another guy who can get down the floor quick and uh, make plays for others and also get to his mid-range, too. So he's, he, he was uh, big for us. He played really good, too, tonight. How did he, like – support you in, in, in particular? Because it felt like that second quarter, you was just getting things even easier than you were even Yeah, the game. honestly, they were just giving me the ball and just, you know, they was honestly just getting out of the way and just letting me just go and create, uh, whether I had a shot or, you know, getting in the lane and creating for my teammates. So they honestly were just making the game easier for me, uh, whether it's I had a, you know, ISO and they slot cut for me, I get down the lane or I shoot a three, you know, I just, they was making the game much easier for me. Uh, Bones, as, as the season's been progressing, uh, I know as you haven't played a lot, in some games you have played a lot. What would you say Russ, Russell Westbrook, um, his discussions with you, how has it kept you going mentally <clears throat> during the season? Um, Man, Russ has been a just a big advocate for me. Uh, he's been that vet for me. He's been that guy that's just always in my ear just telling me, <clears throat> Go out there and just play free. You know, don't ever change your game for nobody. Go out there and be busy and do what, you know, got you here. So that's something that I always appreciate from Russ, man. From day one, you know, when I met him from when I was on another team, I seen him in the, uh, in the tunnel. He just, we just like, it was just clicked just instantly. Then when I came onto the Clippers, it, it was just a, uh, it's a little bro, big bro vibe. <laughs> yeah, going on. So I definitely appreciate Russ for that. He's always in my ear telling me, just, just go out there and just be free. Bones, playing all those minutes, how do you feel now? And were you getting a little tired out there? Um, I felt good. Uh, start cramping a little bit. Uh, thinking like the fourth quarter. Man, they lucky. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Bro, I start cramping so badly, but it's all good though. You know, they played good, but I wanted that win. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, you know, Bones, like you said, you were playing with Hall of Famers, so you've been able to practice and pick the brains of yeah. Russ, James Harden. What are the biggest things that you learned from those two? Uh, this season that you can take forward uh, with your career? Man, it was, they Hall of Fame point guards, so, you know, even though I'm not playing, I'm learning so much from them. Uh, I know my time is going to come very shortly, uh, so just learning under them, um, you know, how they create, the energy they always play with, their leadership, um, just everything, man, how they lead a team, you know, when guys need the ball, and also, you know, them still being themselves and playing their game, so that's something I've been, you know, uh, you know, taking, you know, heat and, uh, and just learning from them. It's been big for me. Bones, how much did, of what you did tonight kind of give Ty pause that, or kind of open his eyes to what you could do as far as a rotation player in the playoffs? Um, you know, I, I feel like whenever he just called my, num uh, called my name, called my number, I just always be ready. So I feel like Ty Lue, he can, you know, always count on me whenever, uh, you know, the team needs me. Uh, needs my talent, so I feel like, you know, t uh, they've been seeing it though. It's not just tonight, so I feel like it's just something that when my numbers call, just go out there and just you know perform and do what we, do what we need. Hey, congrats, man. Um, stay ready. Easier said than done, right? <laughs> like, what have you learned about that that sort of motion, <clears throat> that concept? Um, I mean, honestly, it's been it's been an up and down curve for me, but uh, 
I've been walking with God, and my faith has been, you know, uh, much higher since I've been not playing. Uh, obviously, when I first came into the league, uh, I, was, I was in the rotation. So just coming over here, not playing, you know, three months, four months, it's been tough, you know, because I'm a kid who always want to play. But like I said, in the, the day, I'm learning other guys, under guys as Hall of Famers. And, uh, you know, I know my shot will come soon, but in the meantime, I'm going to support my teammates as best as, you know, as I can. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to something bigger. So it's not just about me, it's about the team. I mean, how how motivating is that to you? And just what what, is it, what does it feel like to actually like, be in a place where you can do that? Um, it feels good uh, knowing that the talent that we have, um, you know, health will play a big part in that. But I feel like, you know, we have every piece, you know, from top guy to the bottom guy, you know, one to fifteen. So it's, I feel like we stay together. You know, we play Clippers basketball, you know, with confidence, and you know, we stay together through this whole run. I feel like we'd be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.